Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is the Lady Designer, and we're here with another Planet Zoo tour. And this time, we're going to have a look at Planet Zoo the Netherlands, made by Yuri Milman. So obviously, he is Dutch. <laughs> And uh, I'm just very honored that I am allowed to check out this zoo because if I look at this, this already looks super inspiring. And not to mention, we even have a parking lot here. I think this is already looking so amazing. So I'm really, really excited to check out this zoo. It's quite big. There are a lot of pieces in it. So it is a little bit laggy, but hopefully we are able to, to, to get through it. I might just uh, pause the game uh, every now and then to uh, to move around. Uh, but yeah, if you want me to check out your zoo, uh, definitely read the description down below how you can send me your finish shoes. And who knows, I might also be able to check out your zoo on the channel. And if you want to check out this zoo yourself, I obviously link this one in the description down below. Please make sure to also leave a like and a thumbs up at the workshop blueprint because I think it's definitely worth it. So without further talking, let's just go and check this all out. Oh, oh man, I really love <laughs> this little uh, little parking lot already. This is looking very promising. For the rest, we have uh, uh, machines for parking tickets. Uh, so let's go right over here and we can uh, cross right over here. <laughs> oh my god, just look at this. Look at the fencing and stuff. I really love how you did that. I have actually barely used those things, so I really do like that. Oh my god, you even have a bicycles here. Oh, this feels so Dutch. <laughs> love it. I love it so much. This is gonna be super amazing. I feel it with everything inside me. All right, let's see. We have some ticket booths right over here. And then if we continue, we have king penguins right over here. And we have a beautiful fountain. Just look at this. This is looking so inspiring. I love it. Oh, we have buildings right over here with wheelchairs, that is. Seriously, that's amazing. I love that. This is looking great, really. These are probably some, some staff buildings and stuff. Oh, I like how you just... How this blends in with the surroundings, like, it just fits. It is great looking, definitely. Oh, man, another fountain right over here. I love that. That is looking great. So we have a restaurant right over here, I think it is. A restaurant at the entrance. Just look at that. This is looking so nice. I love how you made these lights right over here. They look great. So if we... Oh man, I love, I love how you use these panels to create doors. I would never have thought of that. Oh, that is amazing. That is great. All right, let's continue right over here. I think there's a little bulb of terrain right over here floating. I saw it already earlier. <laughs> I was like, what is that? I think it's terrain. So we have a zoo route starred. We have some cool signs right over here. Uh, let's see. I want to go inside here. This is looking great. Oh, man, I love this. I love all the fountains you've built. Just look at this front here. That is looking so good. This is really nice. Let's see. We have... Ah, oh, look at this. This is looking so realistic, isn't it? That's amazing. This is great. I love it that you have this underwater viewing right over here. This looks absolutely amazing. Really realistic. Really like that. Oh, the penguins can go up right over here as well. They have a waterfall again. Super inspiring. Really nice. And we have some natural light right over here, including also some lamps. Oh, this definitely looks amazing. Really love this. Okay, let's continue right over here. We have some signs. And some more signs on this side. And uh, well, let's just follow this path, I guess. I'm going to pause this just for a little bit. Just so we have a little bit less lag. 
Uh, oh, 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 there are signs on the floorings. Okay, we, we did not do that well. <laughs> Uh, there was a sign right over here. Zoo root start. Okay, I should just follow that then. And um, what way shall we go then? I think this is some kind of backstage area. Okay, oh, now I see the arrows. Oh, interesting. That is so cool how you did that with all these signs. That's amazing. That is so smart. So we're now, I'm guessing, right over here. So we can follow this. I, I think we should just just go and follow it right over here. I, I, I don't dare to go to the lemurs now. <laughs> I just want to follow everything. What do we have right over here? We have the ostrich, the gemsbog, and uh, what are those again? Springboks or pronghorn antelope? I don't know these planet zoo names. <laughs> Oh my gosh, just look at this. That is looking so nice. You can right away tell that you really took a lot of uh, realism inspiration of real zoos that you have like this, uh, the terrain slightly going up so the animals are more at eye level. I really do like that, how you use that. This is looking very nice. Very nice shady area right over here for the guests if they need to have some shade. Really nice looking. Uh, oh, we have another habitat on this side as well. We have the ring-tailed and the red ruffed lemur. I think it's some kind of island or anything. Wait, is that is that one... Um, is this a walk-in habitat or is that one escaping? I'm not entirely sure. Let's go back here. Let's go in here because... Oh, look at these. Oh, but there's... Uh, I'm going wrong side. Um... But we have these really nice statues right over here, which we missed, actually. Uh, but uh, I want to see this. The lemurs. Okay, so this is a walk-in habitat. So we can go in here. Stay on the path. Okay, I will not I will not dare to go off the path now. Definitely not. Just look at this. This is looking so nice. It's so busy here. All these guests standing here. Looking at these red rough lemur. Oh, this is looking great. Look at all the climbing frames going above the path as well. I like that. That is always so much fun if you go to a real life zoo and you have these uh, ring tilt lemurs walking and then climbing above you. I do really like that. What do we have here then? This is a little indoor. What is that? Is that a ring to, uh, rat ruff lemur as well? So they have this little indoor section right over here. That is so nice. I think are we have an alert. <laughs> what kind of alert do we have? Oh, well, we were just gonna, gonna pretend that we don't see any alerts. We just do that. Ah, so people can sit here. You better not eat your, your lunch or anything because I guess that lemurs will definitely try and steal it from you. <laughs> I think so. Oh, I love how you use these uh, little rocks right over here. I'm guessing that you did not have the aquatic rocks just yet. But this is definitely a very nice natural way of creating a boundary. I really do like that. I'm not really sure what you are doing. <laughs> You're sitting just halfway of a plank. There are two of you. Uh, ooh, that's a bit odd, isn't it? Yes, that is. Okay, let's just continue right over here. Uh, what else do we have? So this is the exit. Yes, okay. We're definitely following the wrong side. Let's just go right over here. I'm going to pause just for a little bit again. So we can move. Uh, yes, zoo route. There we go. Now we're just going to follow the track from now on, okay? Oh, man, I like how you use these. I just recently figured out that we had these. I had no idea, but they are so cool. I really do like those, and I like it that you used them as well. Oh, we're another, another fountain. You definitely love your fountains. That is just amazing. And what do we have over here then? Oh wait, are oh, wait are those uh the mandrills or the the yeah I think these are mandrills. Gosh, it's been such a long time since I've seen mandrills. But just look at this, how you use these temple pieces. 
That looks great. Again, your fountains. I love it that you made uh, made so many waterfalls and stuff and fountains. That is looking so amazing. But I really like how you use these uh, backgrounds right over here. I like the variation with it, with these temple pieces. Super inspiring. Really nice. And then they have like this little water area where they can drink. Now you can tell that you use the aquatic rocks. <laughs> This is looking so nice. Maybe you just use those um, on the edge just to make sure that they can't walk over it. I can imagine that. Oh, look, we have a moonwalking mandrill in the sky. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes these animals can do such weird things, don't they? It's hilarious. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. I actually didn't realize you used this path. That is working super well. I really do like that. And you have these shading areas right over here. Very nice habitat. I really love the theme you used here. Very well done. Very nice implemented. Looks really great. Uh, no animals try inside. Yes, that is what you would see in real life. Go to pause. Uh, what? Uh, uh. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? We have a guard just standing right next to you. Um, um, yeah, okay, we have some um, <laughs> hyena puppies. <laughs> oh my goodness, you kidding me? Oh, this is hilarious. So I, I said no animal escapes. I just changed the settings. Uh, but I guess these two are very, very naughty, naughty animals. <laughs> so quickly boxing them. Uh, zoo root. Oh, that side and that side and that side. Oh, gosh. Okay. Zoo root start. Zoo root here. How? Oh, what side do we go then? I want to go here. I want to go here. I just want to. Oh, just look at the beams here. That is amazing. Again, so realistic. I really do like that. Ah, Is that my favorite bongos? Is that? Aww. We do. Oh no, it's in Yala. It's in Yala. I've been I've been fooled. Do we have uh, yes we do <laughs> Dinialas and the bongos and Okapis. Oh, I like that. I really like this habitat. Very inspiring with the with the pillars and the supports. Looks really nice. Really well made. Very relaxing as well. Really great work. Okay, let's go inside here or outside here. Oh, we have the outside here with some okapis and nyalas as well. Oh, it's so peaceful here. Really nice, very beautiful. I don't see any derpy pongo face though. I'm so sad now. I'm looking for it, but I can't see it. Oh, but these okapis are so adorable. <laughs> They're so cute. Aww. What do we have on the other side? Also very nice, beautiful looking habitat. But what is it for? I think it might be for those hooved animals as well. Might be an extension. I could be wrong, but I think so. <gasps> did I hear? No. I did not hear a derpy bungo face. I think those are the Nialas that I'm hearing. I'm being fooled by Nialas. <laughs> okay, zoo root that side. So we're gonna follow this side. This is looking really good. Really well done. <sighs> Again. More fountains. Okay, note to self, make more fountains. They just do super well for filling up areas and stuff. This is a staff only. Just want to look, have a peek. And where is the zoo route going? <gasps> We're going through this art fork habitat right over here. So stay on the path. Yes, we'll do, we'll do. Do we have some art farks walking around here? 
I don't see them. Nope. No art forks. Are they inside? I just want to see. No, they're not inside. Where are they? I really do like it that you have these indoor sections inside of a walkthrough habitat. I really love that. But it makes sense. Like in the Netherlands, we also have like a lot of rain and stuff. Oh, there you see it. Uh, a lot of rain and stuff. So yeah, sometimes you would be here in the zoo and it's like raining. So you would have shelter right over here and the animals are inside. Don't disturb our sleep, please. Okay. So, so yeah, you should not disturb them sleeping. Hey, cutie. But it's really well made. Again, super inspiring. I'm going to keep saying it. There are so many little things that I would never think of. But it's, it's, it's really great. It works super well. Definitely really well done. All right, let's continue right over here. So our zoo is going that side. But are we allowed to check out these gorillas right over here? I want to. Do we see any gorillas? Again, look at these fences right over here, or the walls. I like it. How did you make that? Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. I want to just know what kind of pieces. New World Sunshine Copper Post. How smart. Oh, that's very smart. Now you could potentially uh, replace them with all the, the mesh fences that we got new with the last update. You could definitely do that, but this is working super well. It's looking super realistic already, so you don't really have to. And uh, to be completely honest, I say that, but <laughs> you really don't have to. It looks great, but I don't see any gorillas, unfortunately. All right, let's just move to here. What do we have here? Uh, flamingos indoor. Wait, is that really just following this path, or is it here? Oh, look at that! Again, so realistic. I wonder how... You, I, you told me in your email that you have like a lot of inspiration of Dutch shoes. And I wonder just how. I never saw these things, but this is so inspiring. Look at this! Just look at this! I love it. That's amazing. That looks great. Really, really brilliant work. Oh, I love the flowers in front of it. And then we have flamingos right over here on the outside. Oh, this is looking wonderful. Really beautiful. So what do we have right over here? Psst, don't forget our gorillas. No, <laughs> I did not. <laughs> oh, I love it that you have these signs. I'm just a, a noob that I, I didn't see it in the beginning. So we have this gorilla house right over here. Do we have gorillas on this side then? Oh, there is one. Oh, yes, that is so cool. I like that. But you can also go to the top here then, uh, to another floor. Let's go here. Oh, I like that. Look at the glass roof that you made. That is looking amazing. Super cool. Really nice. So you can look down in the habitat right over here. You have more of an eye level with the gorillas. Oh, I really like this. And then we can look on the outside as well into the outdoor section where it is a tree, but I don't think there is any gorilla right now playing around in here. And you have a lot of uh, benches right over here. You can sit down and chill and relax. Before you continue your journey, well, we can just go down right over here. <laughs> really well made. And then we have a little playground. Are you kidding me? Oh, that is so cute. I like it that you added that as well. That is looking really nice. Very well. Very nice. <laughs> okay, let's just continue. Staff only. So we have the flamingo habitat from one side. Oh, I really like this. I really like this indoor section you made with the concrete and stuff. It looks super realistic. Really well done. And then we have this, this restaurant right over here. Oh, this is so cool. I hear music. <laughs> Wait, did you? 
Did we already have these speakers now? Now I'm so confused. I really thought that we had... Oh, wait, maybe it was just your custom audio. Okay, okay, okay. Then I just never noticed. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. Okay, so we have a restaurant area right over here. We can stand right over here looking at the flamingos as well. We have a lovely waterfall on the left side. And what do we have right over here? More flamingos. Very nice habitat for the flamingos. I'm gonna pause it for just a little bit. Uh, let's go and move to here, I am guessing. So what do we have here? Underwater panorama? Are you kidding me? Really? <gasps> oh, I'm excited. What are we going to find here? <gasps> oh my god, look at this! Oh, that's so cool. Ah, oh, gray seals are so amazing. I love these guys. Really well done. Very curious to their habitat now. I want to see what you've made out of it. We can go up right over here again. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, wait, there is a habitat right over here, but let's quickly, before we go, oh, yes. <gasps> oh, like this. Is this working as a fence? That's amazing. Oh, I love that. That is looking really beautiful. So barely any fencing. You just have this very low area with the aquatic rocks and it works for at least the gray seals. Oh, that is just amazing. Really do like this. Very, very inspiring. Really well done. This is looking really great. Nice. Okay, let's go back because we missed a habitat on this side. And that would be the bonobo, I think it is. Also, again, very realistic with the water in between, some water lilies. It looks so great, so peaceful. Really well done. Yes, yes, I love that you did this just like a tire. Really love that. You could potentially also hang a tire, but you have to make sure that it's like in between some pieces to really hang it up but ugh, it would be just so nice to have enrichment items of like tires and stuff that would be just so amazing but yeah no <laughs> we don't have those unfortunately just an enrichment item with like one pillar and then like one horizontal and then like a rope going down with a with a tire and then you can build your frames around it or anything something like that would be just super amazing i really would love that uh, to see that in Planet Zoo. Um, okay, I think we need to go this side. Wait, did we miss out anything here? Oh, it looks so nice here. What is this habitat? What are you? Oh, you're a pygmy hippo. Aww. Just look at that. Oh, there is a sign. <laughs> Aw, this is looking so nice as well. Again, beautiful waterfall. Really well done. Like this shelter area for them. Um, I think, is this the right side that we have to go to? Not entirely sure. You come out of here. You go to that side. You look at the bonobos. So we might want to go... Yes, yeah, so we need to follow it right over here. But we have a bonobo building. Also here with an indoor section. I think. Yes, you need to be quiet. Really nice. Again, very realistic. Really well done. Some educational signs. Oh, I like the lights you have here in the in the roofing. Very nice. But how do so we have two different habitats for bonobos or is that connected in a way? I wonder. 
I think it's connected underneath this bridge. I want to see that. Yes, okay, it is. Oh, that's so cool. So you have a huge bonobo habitat on both sides. Oh, they love that. They absolutely love that, you can tell. That is amazing. Just look how big this is. Beautiful. Really nice. Okay, let's see, what do we have right over here? So we have another sign with another arrow going this side. Oh, hello. We have some zebras and warthogs, wildebeest, ostrich, a big savanna habitat right over here. Love that. And you can tell again how you did your terrain that you have like these fencing, but you can barely tell because your terrain is a lot higher here. Definitely a lot inspired of, of real life. These are the hardest thing to really uh, get in your zoos, if I may say so myself. I find that super hard to, to get it all right and look realistic and you really nailed that. Really, really well done. So they have a water section right over here, but it's split off, so they can't go to that side. So I do wonder what kind of animals you have there. Oh, and we also have giraffes in here. Oh, I didn't see them at first. That's really cool. It's so big, and you can also go up here, I think, and here. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's continue over there. Wait, uh, this is the other side of the bonobo habitat. Again, just how realistic this looks. I always tend to add like fences and stuff right over here. Like, oh yeah, people should not go and walk there, but you don't have to. You really don't have to, and you, it shows in your zoo. Uh, the delta. Oh, look at this. So many animals. You can now add the right rhino in here. I can tell you, you can. <laughs> this is the indoor stables. That's so cool. Man, look at this. That looks awesome. Definitely not fitting for the giraffes though. <laughs> okay, we can go up right over here. And then we have some picnic benches and an area to sit down. Look into the habitat again from a very nice angle as well. Really well done. Ah, we have hippos on the other side. Oh, that's so cool. Hippos and I see African wild dogs. Did you add those in the same habitat? Is that possible? I wonder. So we have an African restaurant right over here. Food, drinks. Wait, what does that say? Ice cream. Mm, I could take some ice cream right now. Really nice, very nicely themed as well in here. Looks really great. Well done. Really nice viewing. Let's continue up here. Because this probably... Oh man, I was wondering. I saw these pieces as well and I was wondering how you could use it. But this is so smart. That is really cool. I really like it. Like It was not my intention. Uh... To, to pick a zoo with like a lot of African areas. I have no idea if you have other areas as well, but having just the Africa pack just launching this week as well, that is just really cool because it's so inspiring to see how you could use also just the in-game pieces for the African style. I really like this building as well, by the way. This is looking great. And especially with these realistic uh, fences and stuff. Oh, I love it. Absolutely amazing work. Really nice, super inspiring. So we can go around here and then we have the hippos. Hell yes. I love some hippos. This is looking really cool. Very nice. And then we go right over here. Oh, we have... Wait, is this all part of the hippo habitat? Are you kidding me? Seriously? This is so nice. Look at this. This is an indoor section. This is so beautiful made. Why is that moving, but I don't see an animal? That's scary. Are there ghost animals in here? Wait, is this the enrichment item? Oh, man. I wish I could see if it would work like this. I love this if this would work like this. That would be amazing. 
Okay, it's, it keeps moving. It's scary. <laughs> I really like this indoor section. Very nice. I like that you used uh, the, the windows again in the roofing to bring in some daylight. It just works so well. And every habitat you can just walk through. So it, never, it, it, it feels like you never have dead ends. Which is exactly what you want in a zoo. Like you don't want people to hat back on the same path. You want them to walk through. And uh, those are kind of things that I really need to learn. I think to work on still. But oh, this is looking really nice. I do see an African wild dog sign. Oh, they are in here. Oh, I didn't know you could. That's amazing. I had no idea. Well, maybe they're not like a bonus, but you can definitely just try to add some species together, I guess. But I wonder what is uh, what the thing is that you you knew that you could at them like if you say that you have inspired this zoo of real life zoos then i'm really curious if there was like a real life zoo that had this combination as well because i have no idea if there is oh this is looking so great i love this there's a natural fence in between to split them off that's just so cool all right let's see we continue right over here. So we have another viewing from this side. Into the habitat with the cute little baby giraffe. Hmm? Oh, is that an animation they do? Oh, never saw that before. That's so adorable. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I love some uh, so uh, I keep saying giraffes with zebras and zebras with giraffes. It's insane. Uh, I love some zebras. What do we have right over here? Ooh, some African lions. Oh, where are they? Where are they? Oh, you just hid that away. Maybe it's because of that that you you hide them away. Um, and there they keep moving like that I because I never seen that before but I can imagine that maybe it gets like bugged or anything and then it will just keep moving that might be the case that might be the case I don't see any lions though that's such a pity oh that's really a pity we'll never love to see some lions in here as well uh what do we have right over here you would have loved to add some meerkats and stuff in this habitat. Yeah, see? This one is doing it as well. <laughs> oh, man. So many ghost animals in here. Wait, what? what was this? A cheetah habitat, right? Yes. But I don't see any cheetahs. Ooh! 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 Oh, that is so odd to see that happening. Ugh, looks like, like an animal is, is playing with it all the time. But it's not the case. I don't see any cheetahs. It's just like a real life zoo, guys. You sometimes do not see the animals you want to see, which is such a pity. Is on the other side. I hear the hy hyenas. No, they should be right over here then. Yes, hyenas. Naughty, naughty hyenas. Again, okay. <laughs> Note to sell. I don't think I will ever try to hide them. I know that many people ask me, why, why don't you hide them in something? But if this is <laughs> what, it help, what happens, that's just so odd. I, I can imagine that. M maybe it did not happen for you. Maybe it's only happening now for me. But it's so funny. <laughs> okay, let's see. We have a really nice hyena habitat right, there, right over here, by the way. With some uh, some more glass on that side, because that that one is not moving, but that one is not like completely hidden away. Uh, yes, okay, this this way. So we have hyena habitat and the delta. Yes, this is where we came from. Uh, hyena cave. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, the gardening is so nice here. Another fountain. Love it. Oh, really nice. I like this. Uh, people are in a shelter. 
looking inside of the habitat from this side. I really do like that. That is really nice. Okay, wait. I hear people scream. I think I think people are stuck. Oh, they're running. Oh no. They're running. <laughs> what animal would have escaped now? Wait, that is a pygmy hippo. So we now need to go here. Um so, oh, then we should go there. Okay, makes sense. Perfectly sense. So, yes, we went around. Oh, that is so smart. Well done with the signs. I like that. Okay, so we go right here. Psst, Mendels are indoors. Okay. And we have root pointing that way. Um, do, okay, then we do go that way. So we move... Don't forget a snack. Oh man, could I really get a snack? I want to. That would be great. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, snow leopards. I like this. Um, this viewing gallery also looks so nice. Just look at that. Oh, so inspiring. There are so many things I, I would love to take over in my zoos. I really do like this. Nice rocky habitat for the snow leopards. Oh, they're swimming, or one is swimming at least. Is there two? One, two? Or is that from the V of Xs that I see? I think it's only one, at least in the water. Yes, there's one coming out. Wait, I heard something on my left. Not sure if I'm correct. Oh, there's one walking up here. Oh, nice. Really nice habitat. I love the waterfall and with the these rocks right over here. I think they are able to climb over that, walk over that. That is super nice. Really well done. And then we can go up right over here as well. Uh, zoo root. Is there anything on the other side? No, there's a lot of beautiful flowers. I'm gonna pause this just for a bit again. Um, we have Africa. Well, we just been in Africa, so I'm guessing that we have to go here. Um, mountain view snow leopard. So we have a nice viewing from the top as well in this habitat. Really nice habitat. Really love your rock work that you did in this habitat as well. Very nice. Must have taken some time to make, like, especially with the traversable area. Must have been super hard. I hear little kittens. <laughs> ah, I love these guys. They're so pretty. Okay, we need to go. Oh, look at that building. Oh, we need to go up here. So I guess we get to that building in a bit. Oh, we have the Indian rhino. Oh, that waterfall is nice. I like that. But where is the Indian Rhino? I don't see it. Oh, I love this. You can you can split this habitat off. That looks great. So if you need to, you can you can maybe just split the male and the female, for example. Just look at these fencing in the back as well. This looks so nice. But where are the rhinos? I don't see them. Oh, man. Why not? So many animals we can't see. Uh, can we go that side? Yes, we can. Okay. I like this. I like this front. This is looking great. Very promising. I'm, uh, I'm excited to go in here. Oh, it's a walk in something. I was expecting elephants. Maybe we have elephants, though. Wait, is this like an aviary or something? Or a reptile house? <gasps> oh, this is an indoor habitat for the rhino! That was just a small second that we saw that, but it is! It is! Oh man, just these things to lock it up. That's just amazing. That looks so good. There we have one. Yay! looking really really well 
very nice work. Well done. Uh, do we have anything on the other side here? <gasps> we do have elephants. Oh, just look at this. That's so cool. Oh, you use this one again. I never used them because I just don't know how to implement them, but it looks so good. I really like this. Okay, so they have a habitat on that side. I also like that you use these hay beddings over these uh, these feeders, so it looks more realistic, to be honest. I really do like that. All these small little things. Super inspiring. Oh, we have some pea fowl. Stay on the path. Okay. Indian pea fowls in here. That's so cool. Oh, we also... Wait, seriously? We also have... Um... Wait, are you swimming here? What are you again? I forgot your name. A Chinese pangolin. That's it. Ah, oh, that's so adorable. So they are just together in this habitat. I like that. That's nice. So we should be able to go through this building, right? That's what I'm guessing. And then we should be able to see some elephants. No. We're not able to see some elephants. We are not. Uh, but maybe we will see them later on through our journey. But the zoo route is going that side. Well, we keep that in mind. But the elephant... Oh, yeah. Don't forget the red pandas. And the elephant is to the left. No. Well, you know what? We're, we're just going to go here for just a little split second. We have some red pandas right over here. I don't know why. I think this is inspired by the, the big Seberge. But I'm not entirely sure. I think it reminds me of that habitat but i only seen it once so i might be wrong i might be wrong <laughs> so that's my pronunciations i'm so sorry oh this is just so cute some small little red pandas did you adjust the size of the red pandas i remember that you could barely tell but now you can tell they look a lot smaller don't they i don't know i don't know they look really cute. That's for sure. Really lovely habitat as well here. I wonder where the uh, the elephants are then. The elephant should be right over here. Yes. Oh my god, look at this. It's probably a part of a different, uh, different path. But I just really want to see this. Oh, and you use these Indian pieces as well right over here. I really like that. That is looking so nice. I like the fencing you did here with the combination with the bamboo. And we have an elephant going to bath or bathe. <laughs> Aww. Really nice. They are so beautiful, these Indian elephants. Really like them. Oh, we have another waterfall right over here. Okay, we're gonna go back and follow the zoo to our path because else i think we're going too far off track and we should not do that okay what do we have right over here we have camels yes i like that oh, i love this habitat it's so different from the rest with the sandy colors and again using these hay beddings yes sorry <laughs> using these hay beddings for these uh, feeders it's so smart. I'm definitely going to use that as well. That looks so realistic. And I, I'm guessing that it still works with, uh, with the, the, the keeper and the filling the feeders. Uh, what do we have right over here? Oh, yes. I like the flowers here as well. We have the Japanese macaque. We have some really nice, um, some nice statues. And then we have this beautiful Japanese macaque habitat with some mist particles. I really do like that. More of Asian theming, Asian gardening. Very nice. <gasps> oh, really? Oh, man. As a kid, I just love that, that you have to go and walk over. That's so cool. I love how you did this. Like, how did you do this? Oh, these are just the... Um, what? That's so cool. The aquatic waterfalls. And just lower them down. 
This is so smart. That's so funny. I really love how you use that like this. Oh, I like that a lot. That is great. Okay, so we have an indoor section right over here for some Japanese macaque. Oh, that looks great as well. Really nice work. And then we have some more education signs. We have a lot of them walking over here, over the path. Going this way. Oh man, the lag! <laughs> the zoo is so big. It's insane. Really hope it's not too bad for you guys. Really hope that I'm not moving too fast to make it worse. But sometimes you just need to pause it and just continue your journey just for a little bit. Uh, but this is looking really nice with the, all the climbing frames going above this path. Really do like that. And then we go around right over here. Stay on the path. Yes, I don't dare to go off the path. No, no, no. Definitely not. Stay on the path. <laughs> Will do. <laughs> all right. Oh, whoops. Okay, and now we go to... Okay, we have another lovely bridge right over here. I really do like it that you barely can tell, but at some point you just enter a different thematic area in the in the zoo, and now it's all Asian. Like it just happened, and without really noticing, like oh, now we're going to this area. I really do like that. It's going really smooth or smooth in tr transitions, I guess. Uh, so we have a conservation center right over here. This is looking beautiful as well. Oh, we have some tapirs, the Malaysian tapir. Oh, I love this. Oh, and they're combined with the um, um, proboscis monkeys. Oh, this is a really nice habitat. I like this water pond thingy. That's looking really beautiful. With the path right over here as well. Very inspiring. Super creative, really like this. This really good habitat. I really like this one. Very well made. Well done. This is great. Um, I need to make sure that I'm not going to uh, going wrong. Wait, do we have another? Oh, we have the the Bobby Bruce as well. Oh, nice. That's really cool that you can uh, add those as well. Wait, we need to make sure that we're not going to the wrong side. Uh, don't forget the giant pandas. No, we will not. We do not want to forget about the giant pandas, which are here already. Oh my goodness, look at this. How beautiful. An outdoor area right over here. Again, how you just have this transition with the green... And then the habitat, you you barely notice. I need to do those kind of things, like without fencing. I always tend to add fences here, but you don't have to. You really don't have to. I really like this. Oh, look at that. Also really great area for the giant pandas. How lovely. Really like the waterfalls. The water section. And then you have... An indoor section. Really like this as well. Looks very nice. Well done. Also with the beams and the natural light right over here. Really great work. What do we have right over here? Another indoor section. Also very nice. They have a huge habitat. I wonder if it's one or two. It could be two habitats with sometimes being connected. Depending on what the zoo wants. Really well done. Nice work. Really beautiful. Okay, I'm going to pause this for a second again. And now we should follow this area. So we're going to go into the conservation center right now. So we have a lion. Oh. Is this from the art piece? I'm not sure. It's not, you did not. Oh, it's a video. Oh, that's why. Okay, pause. <laughs> it is pause, but it's the, it's a trailer. Yes, okay, makes sense, makes sense. Uh, so we have a lot of signs right over here. A real and educational center. And what do we have inside here then? 
It could be anything. There are so many signs in here. <laughs> oh, this is looking really nice. Oh, we have the Bintu wrong. Hello, cutie. Wait, the Bintu wrong and the Sun Bear? Could you combine these two? I can't even remember. All those combinations, I'm just really bad at remembering. I only remembered the 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 big Zavanna because I just recently uh, added the, the right rhino in an episode you have not seen yet, but that's why. <laughs> but I always keep forgetting a lot of these things. Oh, oh, the small little details backstage. Really like that. So okay, been to wrong and the Sunbear habitat. Very beautiful and lush habitat right over here. We have a baby been to wrong. Aww. How beautiful. And also a lovely waterfall right over here. Also really like the fencing right over here with the bamboo again. Super simple, but it works. Really nice waterfall and, and little pond in here as well. Very lovely work. Uh, let's see. Okay, we can only go one side here, so pause. And let's see, what else do we have? We have a zoo root. Don't forget the orangutans inside. Would that be on this side then? I think it is. Let's see. We go through this beautiful entrance. And then we have an orangutan house. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that is looking so nice. How lovely indoor section. And they also have an outdoor section, which we wa we pass by, I think. No, we still need to pass that one. That's a really nice indoor section and a very recognizable. I'm not really sure what zoo it was, but I do remember a zoo that has different sections for different orangutans. I'm not really sure. It might be Awahan Steel Park. But it could be completely wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, Dutchies. Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, we can go continue here? Kidding me. Oh, okay, yes, to the outside area. So then we can see the outdoor sections right over here with some beautiful islands for the orangutans. Are they all connected in a way or are they just three different habitats? I think there are three different habitats. We have some really lovely islands right over here. And even that they can climb over here. Yes, I like that. I really love that. I also tried to do that with my uh, Melon Zoo habitat. Wait, it looked like that camel was just walking around. <laughs> Not in a habitat. Oh, this is looking so nice. Really cool work. So, okay, psst, don't forget. So we went here. I think that sign was on the, this side as well. So don't forget the orangutans. Yes, so then we continue our journey to here, but this is a habitat that we already saw. So then we move, okay, we move to the restaurant and the orangutan islands that we just saw on this side, but we have a restaurant right over here. Also really nice. Uh, very big as well, so a lot of people can uh, can eat and chill here and relax. I guess that is working super well for all the guest needs and stuff as well. Alright, so we have the Bactrian Camel. Another area right over here. And then we continue with the Orangutan Islands. Yes, okay, I went a little bit too far. Uh, okay, now we can go right over here. So now we have the Rocky North. Okay, so this you can tell that you really are entering a different area. Maybe I just didn't see it though. That could definitely be. So, okay, Zoo Root goes in here. I need to do that as well for my zoos. <laughs> Some Zoo Roots so people can easily just see everything that you're building. Also really nice habitat, by the way. Very realistic, just very open, very plain for these animals. Oh, very relaxing as well, again. That's looking really nice. And on the other side, we have... Oh, I thought there were like educational signs or anything, but this is just a, a shady area right over here. And then we move a little bit further. 
and we can see the habitat from this side as well very nice habitat and then what do we have here oh nice we have some arctic wolves look at this habitat and look at that thing again <laughs> This is looking so nice with the uh, uh, different elevations and the, the rock work here and the foliage. Very nice work. Really creative. Very inspiring. Really lovely. Uh, let's see. So we can stand right over here and look in this habitat from this side. When they're swimming, that's just super cool to see. Really love to see animals swim. In any zoo, that's just always so much fun. And then we have a nice waterfall right over here. And can we see more of this? Uh, yes, we can. Perfect. Okay, we can see more timber wolves in here. Did I say Arctic wolves just now? I think I think I did. I might did, but the timber wolves it is. <laughs> oh, this this habitat looks really really good. Really beautiful habitat. I like the water. Different elevations right over here. The bridges. Very nice work. Yes, definitely. Well, well done. Well done. So what do we have here? Oh, we have some grizzly bears. I think it is grizzly bears. Do we have a sign here? What? Oh, wait. We can go down right over here. We might have a sign here. But I'm... I'm not sure. Are you a grizzly bear or the Himalayan? I think you're the grizzly bear. Yes, you are the grizzly bear. Oh man, I'm glad that uh, I say these things so mostly right. <laughs> also, again, super nice habitat with the waterfalls and the water section itself looks really nice. And you have like a cave right over here underneath the path. Oh, that looks great. Nice foliage work. Really well done. Very nice habitat as well. And I'm guessing that there's a viewing gallery on that side as well. So let's go up right over here. And just continue our journey. Going down. Well, you need more janitors. You need more janitors. <laughs> okay, we go down. Ooh, around. For people that wonder why I'm not using Tajikem, I find Tajikem sometimes a little bit either too fast or too slow. So I prefer this camera. I know sometimes people ask me, why am I not using Tajikem to walk first person? But I find this just a little bit easier. Uh, but yeah, very nice uh, a viewing gallery as well from here. A cave viewing. Just look at that. Picture perfect. Yeah, super nice. Lovely viewing on this side. And then we have uh, more of the timber wolves. Just look at this. Definitely also one of my favorite habitats of your zoo. Looks really nice with the different height elevations and stuff. Picture perfect. Definitely. Really well done. And then they also have this viewing right over here. Yes, this is looking fantastic. Fantastic work. Definitely. Oh, yes. Doll sheeps, reindeers. Who doesn't love them? I love them. I love these doll sheeps. They are so cool. I don't know why. I don't know why. Ever since I saw them in the Arctic Park. Oh, yeah, that's a downside. They're also going to lay that. But that's also realistic. That's also what they do in real life, right? They do that. <laughs> But yeah, ever since the doll sheeps are added in Planet Zoo, I just like them. I love to build habitats for them. They're cute. Very nice habitat as well. This is looking great. And then we have another viewing into the timber wolf habitat. Really, really well done. Really like this habitat as well. Okay, now let's continue right over here. And then we have a reptile house. Oh my god, it's so big here. It's insane. So we have more waterfalls. This looks so beautiful and everything looks so spacious as well. Like you really thought of where you want to put all these habitats and it all matches. 
in combinations with other animals. Oh, this is looking great. Even older. I'm gonna pause. It's super leggy in here. Uh, we have some some stones and stuff. Oh, I like that. And we have oh, we have some tortoises. That's always cute. Very underrated animal of the game. But we like some tortoises, don't we? Definitely. Oh, we also have... Ooh, we have some crocodiles right over here. Some saltwater crocodiles. With a waterfall. Also, no, notice the dome. Me like my domes. Very, very nice. Also really nice that you can have like a little bit of underwater viewing it right over here as well. Not really sure, like, I think you've made this one before they could dive. Well, even though you don't have to make really deep underwater viewings, though. Can I dive, like, deep? Oh, they can actually dive deep? Okay, so this was just intended. Like, I, I know that when I built my saltwater crocodile habitat that they didn't dive anyway. So, uh, it's, oh, it's alright. It's alright. I like it. I like this anyways. Just seeing them from the top instead of, like, very deep underwater. Oh, you're so scary, but so beautiful. Amazing creatures, aren't they? Really beautiful. Very nice area right over here. Very nice raptor house. A lot of exhibits to check out. Really nice. Very nice work. Well done. Okay, so how do we... Okay, this this way. So we're just going to follow this path. Look, now I'm going to go faster with shift. Woo way too fast, though. Okay, now we have the zoo route. Going to the Pantanal Dome. Uh, look at that. Oh, that is looking so cool. Again, really cool fountain. You have a thing with fountains, and I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, so we go inside. Oh, look at this, so thematic. That looks amazing. Oh my God, this zoo is so big. Well done. But which what animal is in here? I think I think it might be the giant anteater or the, the tapir. What are you? Oh, that's a giant anteater. Oh, look at this. This is looking so beautiful. Very nice waterfall again. <laughs> so we have a termite mound area where they can walk. Gonna pause a little bit again because of the 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 waterfall lack. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is looking so beautiful. What a nice area or dome or building. I, I don't know how to call it, but just look at this. This is looking amazing. Very nice work. So we have some beards tapers in here as well. What a beautiful habitat. What a beautiful building. What a beautiful theme. This is looking really nice. We also have some giant otters here, and I wonder where they are. But oh, they might be here on the right side. No, those are the dwarf caimans. Those are not the otters. I wonder where the otters are, but they might be. Maybe they're hidden away in between these animals. So I had a little crash. Not that you're like, where is the taper that was swimming here? I had a little crash, so I had to restart it. But now I see the giant otters right over here walking around. So they are in this habitat as well. I do really like that. And then we have some dwarf caimans in the other on the other side as well. Oh, that is so lovely. This is such a great building. Really cool. Really well made. Looks lovely. So if we continue right over here, what else do we have? Stay on the path. Path only. Staff only. <laughs> oh man, this is looking so great. Really well done. I hear some capuchin monkeys on that side. Can we also go that side? Oh, we have a restaurant inside of here. Oh, that is so great. 
And then you have a viewing gallery right over here. What are they doing? Oh, they're, what was that? Is it, are they fighting? <laughs> Never saw that animation either. So many animations in this episode where, uh, which I really never saw before. Such a great habitat as well here. Really well done. Oh, we have a, a giant anteater swimming here. We have so many here. Wow, there are so many swimming around here. That's so cool. How lovely. This is looking great. We're gonna pa we're gonna walk and cross over right over here. We're gonna cheat a little bit because this episode is already becoming so long because there's so much to explore. Just look at that. You're just standing right next to a giant anteater and you just do not look at it. Interesting. I'm very amazed by it, well, though, that it's standing there. That's just really cool. Oh, really lovely building. Really creative. Very, very nice work. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Really great work. Okay, let's go. What do we have here? <gasps> Black Panther. Black Jaguar. Oh, this is cool. Again, oh, this combination as well, by the way, with the Arctic pieces. And the pillars, that works so well. Well done. Really cool habitat as well. Very inspiring how you used all these uh, temple pieces. Great. It's really great work. Uh, where do we go? Oh, we have llamas. Yes. We'd love some llamas as well. Snobby llamas, to be exact. <laughs> I love some snobby llamas. They're so cool. Just look at this. Really cool work. With all these uh, temple pieces. Is this, the, is this another side from the Jaguar habitat? I think it is. Really well done. Very nice work. Wait, where do we need to go? Do we need to go that side? I'm not entirely sure. This is a walk through habitat with the llamas. So you can just see the llamas really up close. Also this little one, that's cute. <laughs> really nice work. Well done. Okay, zoo route goes this way. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's go here. Oh, okay, now we see the elephants right over here. Beautiful habitat. With beautiful animals. We have some statues. Gonna pause for a bit again. Viewing gallery inside of the elephant habitat right over here. You can have a nice viewing as well if they are swimming. Really love that as well. Really nice work. Oh, and now we're back at the rain tilt lemurs and the red rough lemurs again. Oh, does this mean that this is basically the entrance already? Well, already we've been over an hour already. So that makes total sense that we're we're probably all the way around. Let's just zoom out for, for a bit. Yes, this is the entrance. Just look how awesome this is looking from, from above. What great work. Definitely amazing work. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing this uh, this with us. This is really, really well done. Very nice work. Very detailed. A lot of realism. And a lot of just things, tips and tricks in here that I'm like, oh, I'm so much going to steal this. So really, really well done. Thank you so much, Yuri Moman, for sharing your zoo with us. And everyone, that, do let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this beautiful zoo made by Yuri Milman. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and tell me, of course, in the comments what was your favorite thing or what was like for you that thing like, oh my god, I'm so much going to steal that for my own zoos. Do let me know in the comments down below, of course. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more of these zoo tours or, of course, the stuff that I'm building myself in planet zoo i definitely have a lot of planet zoo content for you on the channel what the hell is going on right over here what is that that is so odd 
<laughs> and as that in the beginning of this video if you want me to share your finished zoos on the channel definitely read the description down below of how you can send me your zoos as well and who knows i might be able to show your zoos on the channel in the future thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed and i really do hope to see you guys all in the next one bye guys